Hello and welcome. My name is Pankaj Dubey and in this video we are going to talk about software development life cycle. We are going to understand the different different phases involved in software development life cycle. So SDLC stands for software development life cycle. SDLC defines the standard phases involved throughout the software development activity. And those different different phases are requirement analysis where all the requirement is gathered and analyzed so uh, to eliminate the ambiguity between the requirements and to make sure that every requirement is practical to develop and to implement and uh, next is project planning where the planning will be done that how the development phases will go what will be the approach to develop and uh, the making of flowchart will come as part of the project designing where all the requirements will be properly designed and uh, how will be the flow of requirement how the input and output will be defined for each different different segments of the uh, of the code and then the development will be done so the flowchart will be uh, broken down in uh, different different smaller units and each unit will be uh, given to the developers and developers will work on those units to perform the development to to uh, they'll code to achieve the task then testing will come into the picture testing will test all the developer products to make sure that there is no bug in the uh, uh, there is no bug passed to the live environment and then the deployment of the application will be done and it will be further followed by the maintenance of that product there are different different sdlc models uh, that has been came into the picture over the period of time since the development came into the picture so the very uh, classical model is called waterfall model spiral model prototype model uh, for the followed by the iterative and incremental models v model w model and the very latest one is called agile model so we will quickly see that what are the different different models and why they came into the picture why what was the their disadvantage and uh, uh, and why uh, most importantly why agile is very important while there is a separate video for agile where we'll discuss agile model in very very detail okay and here we'll quickly see the each sdlc models so first is waterfall model waterfall model is a sequential development model where each phase of sdlc is executed one after another in a linear way so it is also called linear sequential model so once you complete one stage or one step the further steps will be executed or will be performed but the limitation is that once you are done with the previous stage and you are working on the next stage you cannot go back to make any changes so here what happens the developers or the de development team used to ask the stakeholders that we'll need let's say six months nine months or eight months 18 months time to develop your application okay and in case if stakeholder comes with any requirement change or with any new requirement then it was not very practical in waterfall model to implement that uh, requirement modification or the requirement change or the requ or the new requirement and uh, so so it so the agile came into the picture because agile is a very welcoming nature requirement welcoming nature of model and uh, you can develop and implement the feature change or the new features very frequently within a given time span of one week two weeks three weeks or four weeks Okay, next is spiral model. So in spiral model, it is a risk driven process model uh, generator for software projects. Based on the unique risk pattern of a given project, the spiral model guides a team to adopt elements of one or more process models such as incremental, waterfall or evolutionary prototyping. So it is a combination of different different models and it is derived on the basis of the risk associated with the project. Prototype model. Prototyping is used to allow the users to evaluate developers proposal and try them out before implementation. Okay, so what was happening here uh, when the stakeholders were not sure of the de development team, they used to ask them that to add some kind of samples or the prototype how they can implement or how they can develop their application. So what happens in this model, a software prototype will be created to understand that whether it satisfies the stakeholders requirement or not so based on that the stakeholder will take the decision whether to work or with the with the with that team or not incremental model in incremental model the whole requirement is divided into various builds and multiple development cycles uses waterfall model so uh, the whole requirement will be divided in different different build 
and every build will be developed with the process of waterfall model. Cycles are divided up into smaller, more easily managed modules. So that was an added advantage of incremental model. V model. V model was very popular model where uh, all the SDLC phases and STLC planning phases were uh, fixed as, uh, on the on the different sides of V. Uh, okay, so if you uh, consider this example, you can see a V shape here, and uh, at one side you can see the SDLC phase, which is requirement analysis, and at the same uh, time the testing activity UAT planning is done. So always consider that it is the planning activity, STLC planning and STLC phases are the real phases. Okay, so uh, with requirement analysis, UAT is planned with high level designing because once uh, it goes something like in this shape, uh, down goes down goes down till the development and w uh, once the development is done, it goes in the upper, upper side, it, go, it will go in the upper side of the testing. So once the requirement is done, the high level designing will be done it will be further followed by the low level designing or the specification and further followed by the coding so once coding is done this unit testing will be performed then the integration testing will be performed then the system testing will be performed and it will be followed by the UAT okay so what happens this is the process of execution okay but what happens uh, in this phase the planning is done simultaneously so uh, at the time of requirement analysis UAT is planned at the time of high level designing system testing is planned with the low level designing integration testing is planned and with the coding unit testing is planned okay but the limitation of this model was that there were no QA thing involved in the V model okay so the QA uh, which is process oriented where all the SDLC phases are monitored were not here into the picture so what came as part of solution uh, of the drawback of V model was the W model where an extra V is added so this is the existing V and then a new V is added as part of the uh, uh, development model so what happens here with the requirement analysis requirement review will be done to make sure that there is no issue in the requirement gathering and analysis with high level designing the HLD doc document will be reviewed with low level designing the specification document will be reviewed with coding the coding will be reviewed uh, to make sure uh, that there is no error in the coding and uh, once the code is merged the integration will testing will done the real integration testing will be done and now there is no planning but actually the execution with the whole build the system testing will be done and with development uh, once the it is deployed it's not development deployment uh, then the UAT will be performed. UAT stands for user acceptance testing. Also one thing to uh, consider here when you will be working in V model there will be three testing teams involved in uh, in the V model. So one will be the unit testing which is uh, all uh, itself will be executed by the developers and sorry, uh, itself will be executed by the developers and then the integration testing in integration testing uh, basically there will be I said there will be three testing teams so one I said is unit testing second one will be called as SIT which is nothing but system plus integration testing so system integration testing team will be a different team and UAT will have uh, uh, I mean the company or the product will have a different team which will be uh, specifically assigned for to test the user acceptance testing okay and last is agile model so agile is a software development model that gives the flexibility to develop test and deploy the things quickly and easily so this is the very recent and uh, very popular model which is uh, every most of the organizations are working on agile model especially uh, where the requirement is very uh, i mean very important to implement very soon like all the e-commerce all the big mnc's all the big e-commerce companies are using the agile model because they need to provide some kind of offer or uh, they need to implement some requirements very soon to attract the customers okay so that's all as part of the sdlc model and in next video we'll talk about test planning